Now, this is the Fox 11 Morning News. Good morning, everybody. I certainly hope you're in a romantic mood. Take a look at this. Yes, we're at Infinite Flow in Sherman Oaks doing some romantic dancing to get your morning going. The 6.30 Fox 11 Morning News starts right now. 6.36, I'm looking forward to seeing this. They may not be able to use their legs, but they can still dance. Gina Silva, she joins us now live from Sherman Oaks with the story of some wheelchair dancers. Unbelievable and so inspiring. Gina, good morning. Very inspiring, Marla. Good morning. You know, we've got Jose Feliciano going. It's a romantic morning. Take a look at Marisa. She's so beautiful. Uh, dancing here with Adelpha Saramo. They've been dancing for a year and three months. Now, Adelpha was involved in a horrific accident that left him paralyzed. And Marisa was actually also paralyzed, partially paralyzed. And, um, it was temporary, and at that point, she decided she wanted to make a difference. Let me stop you there. Well, you can keep dancing, actually, because you know so much. <laughs> so, Marissa, tell us how you came up with this idea. So, um, I really wanted to give back my love for dancing for those who still live with paralysis. Um, I can relate to paralysis because I had gone through it myself. So, in March 2015, I created Infinite Flow. Infinite Flow. And, Adelpho, you were involved in that accident. You were paralyzed from the waist down? Yes, correct. And how is dancing helping you? Um, well, it just allows me to express my passion and, and, and love for life. You know, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm, I've come to peace with my situation, and I just kind of want to do anything and everything before I leave this earth. So, And dancing is one of those things that just allows me to just express myself and my love for life. Well, you guys do an amazing job. We're going to let you dance so we can see it. And, and go ahead, just start showing this. So they've been dancing, like I said, for a year and uh, three months, and they're so good. So I'm going to let the music go, and here they are. <laughs> Wonderful to see. Here is uh, really an inspirational story. Gina, right now, is at the Sherman Oaks Dance Academy. That's inspirational in itself, <laughs> but what's happening behind her and around her is the real story. Hey, Gina. Good morning, everybody. It's all about dancing. I hope you like it because, as Steve said, yes, this is an inspirational story. We're at Infinite Flow in Sherman Oaks. You know, earlier we were doing a little romantic dancing. Now we're just having a lot of fun. Marissa Hamamoto and Adelpho uh, Saramo were dancing earlier. You know, they are talking about changing their lives through dance. Adelpho was involved in a horrific accident that left him paralyzed. And Mark... LaFleur, the one you're seeing right now, he was shot when he was 14. He was left paralyzed from the waist down. And they say the classes really do help him. Earlier, I talked to Adelpho. Take a look at his story. I was on my way towards San Diego, and uh, I fell asleep. And um, my vehicle veered off the cliff, fell about 60 feet, and then I was ejected about 25 feet and got thrown uh, into a tree. And that's where I most likely broke my back and how is dancing helping you um it's i mean it, it helps a lot with uh being able to network with the wheelchair community um as well as being able to show people um from able bodies to someone who is disabled that you know you could do whatever you want just as long as you put your mind to it all right so marissa you started this dance company why did you do that tell us your your first initial plan so um, I was paralyzed from the neck down with a rare spinal cord disease uh, in 2006. And so I know what it feels like to be paralyzed. Thankfully, I'm on my feet now, dancing professionally as a way of giving back my love of dance. I started this. I wanted to create a dance community of inclusion yeah. and quality of that both ambulatory awesome. and wheelchair dancers. Well, you are an amazing dancer, Mark. So how is dancing helping you? 
Um, what I like about this is that it's very different from what I normally do. My day job, I'm a scientist, I'm, you know, uh, very analytical. This is completely different. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's expression, it uses a different part of my brain. It's the yin to my yang, you know, it's really great. That so. is awesome. And you are pretty good. I mean, I think you're ready for competition. Oh, I don't know about that, but thank you very much for saying that. And we're really appreciative of Marissa for starting this. Yeah. The community really needs more programs like this. So I understand the classes fill up. It's on Friday nights at 8 o'clock? Correct. How many students do you have? I have uh, about 15 kids and about 15 adults, I would say, right now. 15. And we are, we're we're always recruiting more, not just wheelchair dancers, but also ambulatory dancers. Awesome. All right, Steve, everybody dance. Let's I go. love this stuff. This is great. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I like how he said he Thanks, has Steve. the inside and he has the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's very uh, inspiring. 7.38. Gina, thank you very Can't much. Help but dance. Isn't that great, Tony? Yes, that's wonderful. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Very inspirational. All right, let's go to this. Uh, Gina standing by at Sherman Oaks at the uh, Dance Academy with a wonderful story about dancing. Good morning, Gina. Good morning. Yes, we're doing a little merengue dancing this morning. It's a really good cause. Come on, take over, girls. We're at Infinite Flow in Sherman Oaks. And you know, <laughs> Marissa Hamamoto opened the dance company for people in wheelchairs last year. You know, at any given time, she's, she has about 20 students in class of all ages. And they say that dancing is changing their lives. Take a look. Um, when I was 14, I was, uh, had a spinal cord injury, a gunshot injury. My vehicle veered off the cliff fell about 60 feet and then I was ejected about 25 feet. How is wheelchair dancing helping you? Um, well, um, there's a few things about it that I like. Um, one is the social aspect of it. It's nice to be able to meet people uh, that have the same interests and do things together. Being able to show people um, from able bodies to someone who is disabled that, you know, you can do whatever you want just as long as you put your mind to it. And that's it. As long as you put your mind to it, it's all good. Marissa, now tell us your story because your story is also pretty inspiring. Thank you. Um, so in 2006, I, w I suddenly collapsed onto the ground with a rare spinal cord disease called spinal cord infarction was, and was paralyzed with the neck down. I was told by the doctor that I may never be able to walk or dance again, but here I am today walking, dancing professionally, and I, you know, and dancing was a big part of my healing process, and so I really wanted to give back dancing to everyone, and so this is one way that I'm giving back my dancing that well, I Well, we all love music, we all love dancing, so obviously this brings the spirit up. <laughs> yes, it so does. Look at you. <laughs> I know. I really love it. It's great. <laughs> yes, the dancing is for everyone. Everyone can dance. In my dance company, Infinite Flow, there's, it's the wheelchair dancers and the ambulance the dancers are equal. We yeah. try to create an inc inclusive environment and bring quality to the dance floor for everyone. I know, and Adelpha here, I, you, you're pretty amazing. You do competitive dancing? Uh, competitive, me and Marissa have uh, done a, what, one competition and then usually we do just kind of gigs, performances for like hospitals and uh, different other events that we get invited to. So. so if somebody is at home in a wheelchair watching this, what message would you like to send to them? I mean, you know, anything is possible. You know, if and even without dancing, you know, even if it's not dancing, if you're trying to pursue, you know, other endeavors, um, you know, I wouldn't let your disability hold you back. You know, if you just put your mind to it, um, just kind of assess the situation and, uh, you know, and and just kind of follow through with it, I think you could accomplish anything you, you choose to do. So. All right, yeah. that sounds good. All right, you ready to yeah, yeah, continue yeah. dancing? Steve, we're going we're gonna to just dance, so I'll send it back to you. So. Just dance. Thank you. Steve's He's dancing. dancing. He's dancing, Gina. He's out of his chair. Yeah. We'll I am motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have <laughs> All right, uh, yes, what, what? Gina, what are you doing there? What's going on? <laughs> we are dancing, Steve. Take a look. This has been a wonderful morning here at Infinite Flow in Sherman Oaks. Marissa Hamamoto is the instructor. She started Wheelchair Dancing Company after she found herself one night unable to move. Now, doctors diagnosed Marissa with spinal cord infarction. They told her she wouldn't be able to walk again. Two months later, she was able to move and slowly began her recovery. Knowing what it's like to lose her mobility, Marissa decided to help others in wheelchairs enjoy music, rhythm, and dance through Infinite Flow. Amazing stories. Take a listen. 
Um, when I was 14, I was uh, had a spinal cord injury, a gunshot injury. My vehicle veered off the cliff, fell about 60 feet, and then I was ejected about 25 feet. How is wheelchair dancing helping you? Um, well, um, there's a few things about it that I like. Um, one is the social aspect of it. It's nice to be able to meet people uh, that have the same interests and do things together. Being able to show people um, from able bodies to someone who's disabled that, you know, you could do whatever you want just as long as you put your mind to it. So there you go. That's the message. Just put your mind to it. Now, Marissa, come over here. Come over here. We'll, follow. we'll come to you. <laughs> How fun is this? Oh my God, it's so much fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. Dancing is for everyone. This is a, a very good example of inclusion and diversity. And um, I love doing this. I love sharing my passion for dancing. And I hope America sees this. Thank you. Awesome. Are you guys having fun? Steve, I think we're having more fun here than over there. I bet you are. Thank you, that's great stuff. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.